Is your kid wearing band shirts with grotesque and blasphemous art on it? Does your kid spend hours upon hours practicing the guitar? Is your kid playing that gross heavy metal music too loud in their room? Do you have the constant fear that your kid is snorting coke and planning on shooting up the school? Then you've come to the right place. Dear unsupportive slash overly religious parents of metalheads, Newsflash, God doesn't actually give a shit what your kid's listening to. Remember that famous saying from the Bible, so you judge, you shall be judged? Hmm, um, sounds like somebody's not being a very good Christian. <laughs> Let me tell ya. I know there's a lot of concern that goes behind the metal culture. I mean, no parent wants their kid doing a shitload of drugs, engaging in occult activities, and being a disrespectful loud mouth towards every adult in existence. Most of that is all a stereotype, and you see that more in only cartoons and movies, and the ones doing most of the drugs are those big rock stars that have a bunch of wrinkles and are partially dead now. And if you think metal lyrics are bad, man, you should listen to some of the rap kids are listening to these days. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you here. If I had a kid, I'd rather have them influenced to shred on the guitar and watch horror movies rather than going out, doing a shitload of Xanax, and getting an STD. You know, despite the very long-term and popular belief, most metalheads actually don't worship Satan, and a lot of us aren't even remotely religious at all. Although there are a lot of bands that use a lot of profane and satanic imagery, most of it is just for show. It's a little something called shock rock. You'd be surprised how many famous metal musicians are actually religious. For example, Tom Mariah, who is the bassist slash vocalist for the band Slayer, notorious for writing lyrics on genocide, warfare, satanic worship, and so on. He's actually Catholic. So you're probably wondering, how on earth did my kid happen to stumble upon such a dark music genre? Because as a teenager, a lot of us are very frustrated and we kind of feel a little outcasted and metal just happens to be a really great outlet for all of your anger and a lot of teenagers that get into metal which even most adult metalheads stumble upon metal when they're around 13, 14. It gives us something to relate to. Metal gives us power, it makes us feel stronger, and gives us a sense of self-belonging. Metal thickens your skin, and to be honest, metal's pretty badass. I mean, metal's pretty much been my best friend since uh, uh, circa 2015. Now, I mean, what metalhead doesn't want to be in a band? This one is for all of you unsupportive parents, specifically. Do not ever, ever discourage your kid from pursuing their dreams. Instead, you should probably help guide them towards getting a job within the music slash entertainment industry because, let's face it, it is insanely difficult to completely live off gigging with a band. You know, there's a huge variety of many, many college courses and majors that sort of tie within the music and entertainment industry that your kid could be interested in. Having big dreams is not a joke. At least your kid has some sense of ambition. The higher you set your expectations, the more disappointed you're going to end up. What parent really wants their kid walking around with a shirt with this artwork on it? Oh, big shocker, I know. You can always monitor what kind of band shirts they get, but if it's their money that they're spending, then it's kind of their right to wear it. Now, this doesn't mean they're going to wear a dying fetus shirt to church. That's just common sense. It's disrespectful. If you really have a problem uh, seeing a shirt on your kid that you don't like, then maybe you should tell them, I don't want to see you wearing it. You can wear that when I'm not around. I just don't want to see it. And if your kid's turning goth or turning punk, don't restrict them to only wearing basic clothes. You're suffocating your kid. Let them feel free to express themselves. It's very good for the developing mind and it really builds strong character. You can't change your kid, no matter how hard you try. And it is all a part of growing up, whether being a metalhead is a phase for them or not, but usually, 
will stay through metal throughout their life if they really enjoy it. And when it really comes down to it, if your kid is truly, truly happy with the music they listen to and what they wear, then there is absolutely nothing that you should worry about. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more like this, and don't forget to check out my Depop and my Big Cartel shop where I sell stickers, buttons, and zines. And I am coming out with this really cool t-shirt design soon, so you should stay tuned for that. Follow my social media links down below as well. And as always, this is your pal Sipic Siren, and stay metal.